Hello and welcome to Boat Boy. I've just finished filming aboard this Arm Trawler 1650 for my main channel, Yacht Boy, and I'll have a full detailed description and walkthrough of this boat on that channel. What I want to do in this video is just give you a casual walkthrough on board, pointing out some of my favorite features as we walk through this boat. If you're interested in finding out more, then you'll find all the details in my other video on my Yacht Boy channel. At the moment, as you've probably guessed, I'm sat on the captain's chair in the helm position. Uh, it's great that you've got an access door over on the port side and an R1 over on the starboard side as well. So quick and easy access to both the port and starboard side decks. Uh, really great layout here in terms of the uh, equipment on the helm position. Throttle control levers over here on the starboard side. Very handy CCTV monitor. Uh, on the starboard side there. And there we've got our GPS and chart data. The uh, engine monitoring system for the twin Vitus engines. Uh, over here we've got the various switches and currently in two meters of water. Um, obviously got the VHF over here on the port side. Let's go down into the accommodation areas. Uh, so there are two cabins on board this boat, uh, both of them double. Here we have the uh, forward cabin, uh, plenty of room in here and obviously lots of uh, storage space. The fire extinguisher over there on the starboard side, plenty of places to keep all of your gear. Uh, this has its own air conditioning control unit as well. So if you're like me and you like sleeping in a fridge, you can make it as cold as you want to. Uh, it's very humid, very hot here today, so you have to excuse my sweaty appearance. Here we have the master cabin, a midships full beam master cabin. Obviously one of the benefits of having a midships master cabin is that you don't feel the movement of the boat as much as what you would do uh, if you were in the forward uh, VIP cabin. But yeah, full beam on here as well, plenty of natural light. Not only have you got the starboard and port portholes, uh, which are more or less at eye level, uh, you've got some more up here. So yeah, you can open these up as well for additional ventilation as and when you need it. Let's head back up here, one of the toilets. And obviously we've got a washer, dryer up here as well. So yeah, this boat is ideal if you're gonna be going away uh, on extended voyages. You can do all your washing and anything else on board. Over here on the starboard side, we've got a decent sized shower. Yeah, I like the way it recesses into the floor. It just gives you that additional couple of inches of uh, headroom, uh, should you need it if you're tall, you know, like me. The toilet there. But yeah, it's, it's nice and airy. Uh, it's bright, lots of natural light coming in here, uh, which is great because when you're on those long distance voyages, when you're below deck, you don't want to feel like you're cocooned away somewhere. You definitely don't get that on here. A few knots on there. Let me know which one's your favorite. I must admit, I'm a bit rusty when it comes to the knots. So I wouldn't be able to do any of them. Another thing that I like up in the, the wheelhouse, that you've got a nice seating area over here. So your chums can sit down and watch you do the magic whilst you're at the helm. But yeah, great visibility, great view. Lots of headroom. Uh, I love the use of indirect lighting and the amount of cabinetry as well. Uh, you can stow a lot of your stuff on here uh, when you're going away on extended voyages. The TV that pops up in here, large windows in the saloon. So again, lots of natural light. Uh, you've got your Siemens cooker over there, induction hob under this. There you go, so you can cook up your fantastic five-star meal to really impress your friends and your shipmates. Gonna take you up on the flybridge now. As soon as I saw it, I knew that this would be one of my favorite features uh, on board this boat. That has to be, do you recognize it? Starlink dish over here on the starboard side. I think Starlink really has changed the way that uh, people use their boats. Gone are the days when heading out to sea meant losing contact with your friends and family for a couple of weeks. And, you know, thanks to Starlink and the uh, reasonable pricing that they've got, uh, you can have 
download and upload speeds which are just as good as probably what you would get ashore so yeah if you've got Starlink on your boat uh, how have you found it let me know in the comments over here obviously got the helm station on the flybridge commanding view all around the boat we did go out for a, um, a sea trial on here earlier on today and I was really impressed with Mark's boat handling Mark who works here at the Valk, uh, managed to get this sizable vessel all the way down this narrow channel here which was yeah really impressive boat handling the guys here at the Valk, uh yacht brokers really know what they're doing uh, and their knowledge when it comes to boats is second to none so let's go out onto the uh the fore deck now going through the starboard uh, access door so i run out of battery there but luckily i've got a spare I love this uh, raised section uh, of the uh, foredeck here, which allows for a greater headroom uh, in the forward cabin. And also the distinctive arm trawler wheelhouse windows. Huge spotlight up there. High gunnels as well, plus a handrail. So you'll be nice and secure uh, when you're on the way uh, heading through the choppy seas. Vetus windless there as well. Yeah, this boat has been kept in really good condition. Uh, you know it's immaculate really well looked after uh, you know well loved boat now what I'm going to do just to finish off favorite features section I've got to take you down in the engine room as is always a tradition on these favorite features another thing as well I love how obviously the doors here on the saloon open up uh, revealing a very well laid out cockpit but yeah, when you're sat in here, when you're at anchor in your favourite marina or alongside, uh, you know, the seamless integration between the inside of the boat uh, and the exterior spaces really does create a nice, open, airy living space. Uh, let's take you down into the engine room now. You can access the engine room via the hatch over here on the starboard side. So we did take this out on a sea trial today and it's quite warm down here uh, if you want to see the sea trial video then obviously make sure you head over to uh, my other channel yacht boy but yeah you've got twin engines on here so i know a lot of people uh, prefer boats with a uh, twin engine setup and configuration uh, so yeah these are the powerhouses down here uh, good access to both engines on both the port and starboard side obviously don't get tons of headroom down here uh, but that's fine uh, for carrying out your essential day-to-day -day maintenance uh, but yeah what do you think of uh, this engine room uh, let me know in the comments if you haven't already please make sure you subscribe to my channel and give this video a like uh, i'll be bringing you more videos um, as and when i get on board more boats but yeah so those are some of my favorite features aboard this arm trawler uh, like i said at the beginning of the video you want to find out more about it then head over to my other channel yacht boy uh, and you'll find the full tour on there Thanks for joining me on board. I'll see you on the next one.